And here we have the very committee that's investigating January 6th. That's destroyed documents. That's destroyed video. Shared some with the White House. Shared some with the Department of Justice and the prosecutor. I mean, if I'm a defendant in these cases on January 6th, and if I'm President Trump, I go, wait a minute. Why would they destroy this stuff? Because the stuff destroys their narrative, or the stuff is exculpatory to the people who've been charged and to Donald Trump. Another very important issue, the January 6th committee. Mark, what do you mean? This is very important. There is a courageous member of the House of Representatives. Doesn't get a whole lot of attention. What he's doing is leading an investigation of the January 6th committee. You see, ladies and gentlemen, after the Democrats lost the election, but before they left office and the Republicans were sworn in, they made a desperate effort to destroy evidence. Now, the first way that Mr. Loudermilk, the individual I'm speaking about, found out that they had started destroying stuff and destroyed a lot is because one of the lawyers for one of the deponents, people who, person who was deposed, said he went to the committee records, which they say are online, to get a copy of the video deposition. It didn't exist. And when he went to members or staff of the prior Democrat majority, they said, well, it's either on the website and you click to it or it's not. They destroyed it. They destroyed it. They destroyed, they believe, upwards of 25% of all the data and videos. They actually gave some of this information to the White House. This is breaking news that apparently is not breaking anywhere but here. These are documents that belong to the United States Congress. These are documents that are government documents. They're going after Donald Trump, saying that he took documents that he shouldn't have had. And here we have the very committee that's investigating January 6th. That's destroyed documents. That's destroyed video. Shared some with the White House. Shared some with the Department of Justice and the prosecutor. I mean, if I'm a defendant in these cases on January 6th, and if I'm President Trump, I go, wait a minute. Why would they destroy this stuff? Because the stuff destroys their narrative, or the stuff is exculpatory to the people who've been charged and to Donald Trump. What kind of country has this become? So under the tutelage of Benny Hill Thompson, the chairman, Jamie Raskin, the Marxist, Dizzy Lizzie Cheney, the egomaniac, a narcissist, and Adam Kingsinger, the head case, and all the rest of the members of that committee, Schiffler Schiff and so forth. Incredible amount of data was destroyed, but it gets worse. They also put behind encrypted walls a whole slew of data. And so you need these forensic experts, the kind of people who work on uncovering spy rings in America and cyber attacks in America or the FBI uses to try and track down criminals and all the rest of it. They had to call in experts, the Republicans, people like this, to use cutting edge technology and forensic techniques to try and get behind the walls that the Democrats in this committee set up to prevent the Republican majority from getting to the information. You believe that, Mr. Producer? And so they got behind some of it, but not all of it. And they found that Cassidy Hutchison, anybody remember who she is? She wrote an entire book on her experience. They found that she changed materially and fundamentally her original testimony under oath to the committee to later comport with the committee's narrative. And when I was talking to Congressman Loudermilk, I said, now, did she do this under oath? He said, yes. I said, well, isn't this? He said, yes, it's potential perjury. I said, wow. He said, we're in the dark. We're trying to find ways. He said, and I want you to think of how daunting it is. 
all of the depositions, all the documents, all the text messages, all the phone logs, all the information in the aggregate, just an enormous amount, and they are having to operate in the dark without any help from the former members of the former staff to try and figure out actually what took place with this January 6th committee. Remember, we're supposed to circle it on our calendar, January 6th. And he believes there's a significant amount of information in here. He says, I, look, I'm going through this objectively, but that undermines the narrative. People who should have been providing public testimony, whose testimony was exculpatory to President Trump and others, and damning of security in the building, and damning of Pelosi and others who didn't place security in the building the way it should have been. This was Pelosi's committee to both cover up her own tracks and to use now and forevermore as a cudgel, not just against Trump, but against conservatives and Republicans down the line and conservative media. For all this and much more, sign up for Levin TV.